Boys and girls, this week I want you to keep an insect observation diary for homework. So you will see this worksheet in your new worksheet package. Um, and this is what you're going to complete. So this actually comes, this idea comes from um, Platinum. All right, if you have a look in your Platinum on page 64, they are asking you to keep an insect uh, observation diary for one week. So that is where this idea is coming from. So you're going to look um, every day, all right, and you're going to report what insects you saw, where did you see the insects, and you're going to say what the insects were doing. All right, so you're going to do that for Monday until Friday. And then um, you can just draw any um, pictures of insects that you have observed. I'm going to show you two examples of children that have done that in the past. So you can see what standard I am expecting. All right, sorry. All right, here we go. All right, so here is an example of someone's completed insect observation diary. You can see on Monday they saw a moth or a butterfly. It was at home in the garden and the moth was flying through the flower patch. Since it was flying through the flower patch, it was probably a butterfly. But that's the kind of thing I expect from you. And um, some lovely drawings at the bottom. Here's another one by someone else. All right. Also some lovely pictures. It is for a mark. You need to complete it. All right, I give you a mark for it. It's part of your life skills, um, uh, activities that you're doing. And I want you to give your best. Please bear in mind, this is an insect observation diary. So please don't write about spiders or snails or earthworms, anything like that. Those are not insects. We've discussed what is and what isn't an insect. So please just bear that in mind. All right, I hope you enjoy this and I hope it makes you aware of all the little insects around you.